it was ice that day, ice on the stairs, and when I came to get down, that was ice there. Miss uh, feet slipped on the ice, and there it goes. My knee hit that metal DOT, yeah. And I'm holding on to the... I'm holding on to the rail to dear life, trying not to fuck my whole in. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Jamie, you're on air. What's going on? Hey. How you feel? I'm blessed. I, 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 I see. I see. So, um, wanted to get you in. And uh, talk about what happened to Warner. Like, when I first met you, when I first met you, you was you was all Team Warner all the way. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Like, you was like 100% Team Warner when I first met you. And you was like, mm -hmm. you, you, you was like Warner this and Warner that. And but but mind you, mind you, this this was like at least 2016, 2017. Jesus Christ, we've been we we've been we've been vibing with each other for that long. God damn yeah. it! Yeah, I ain't even wow. That's that's back in my U.S. Express days, right there, man. Twenty sixteen. 17? Yeah. So, let's catch up, man. Uh, I mean, I, uh, how you been doing? Like, what you what you been up to? I mean, other than warning and everything, but what you what you been up to? I mean, as far as that, you know, had my little, little setback, you know, my knee, my metal knee flared up, and it was a whole bunch of took time off of Warner and, you know, Warner wanted to be on that bullshit. I mean, I ignored the sign, you know, all that I was given, I ignored it and work, work, because that's what I'm used to doing, working, you know. Right. Uh, I mean, when I had got this metal knee, that changed, you know, that changed my life. Now let's 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 back up a little bit. Let's let's back up even back up before the metal the metal knee. Like how long you was if if I'm not mistaken was Warner was the was the very first company that you got with? No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, so, I had my I had my CDL since 2005. Okay. Before I had the metal knee and everything. I started with CR England. <laughs> That's where the, <laughs> that's where you got that's where you got your CDL from CR England. No, I got no, I got my CDL from Transtech down here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, that now a that's school a, that that uh, taught me how to drive eighteen wheeler. Oh, okay, so that <laughs> so you actually went through an actual school to get your CDL. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now, of course. And, of course, back you know back then, uh, was what was the reason to choosing CR England over over because anything see, else? Back then in two thousand two thousand and five, CR England was the only company that really, you know, it wasn't that many women right. in trucking. It was some women in there, but it wasn't like it is now. Right. CR England was the only company that actually took on females. What? You know, everybody else was like, ah, yeah. And then, you know, when I brought it to Warner, I said, no, y'all y'all recruiters came to Transtech. And mm -hmm. they was like, oh, no, we don't take females, what? blah, blah, blah. We don't have female trainers. So this and is, I'm like, wait, wait, wait. This, this is back in 2000, what 2005. now? So back in two thousand and five. So back in two thousand and five, a lot of the trucking companies that you was looking at after you got your CDL, they wasn't giving you no play because you was a woman. Yeah, because some. Um, I said first of all, do you know how many times 
how long I didn't work around males all my life. But I, if they're your trainer to train you, dude, now why the fuck would you park in front of me like that? You's about the dumbest cunt in a motherfucking world. <laughs> That's, Just a fucking cunt. That's us. That's that's us truck drivers. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, you gonna pour dead in front. Use a fucking. Use a fucking cunt. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So continue. So, if, so, so in two thousand and five, it was hard for you guys, or hard for you. To 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 get up into the into the industry. Yeah, yeah. Two thousand five, and they trying to say, I said, get that shit up out of here. Smith Transportation, all the big major companies back then. Yeah, get that shit up out of here. Pimp. Wow, I can tell you that. Wow, because uh, I had my CDL since two thousand and five. Wow, that's so you can run with that. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. you, you, so, out of all the mega carriers, Swift, U.S. Express, Snyder, Prime, CR England was all the of only, them. CR England was the only one that came through in a clutch, pretty much. Yeah. Wow. Well, we know CR England didn't last too long, but how long you stayed? How long you stayed with them before you moved over to, over to Warner? Well, no, I took a 10-year rest break and raised my boys because they was used to me being home. Right, right. Okay. You know, okay. things you got to do as, as a mother. Okay. You know, and but, I did what I had to do. But you kept up You you kept up your CDL, though, during, during yeah. that time. Okay. Yeah, and I, and I came back into truck in 2016, December 9th. 2016. Oh, okay. Okay. So And I went to I went to Warner. Okay. So you got with Warner. Uh and around that time, that's where me and you met. Um, uh, of course yeah. you of course you was team Warner all the way. <laughs> so now you with Warner. Yeah, I was. Now you now you with Warner, but uh, medical uh, your medical condition, i.e., your knee. Uh, what what happened, and why did you get a metal plate? Well, when I was working for U.S. Airways, I fell off the catering truck. Okay, that's how I landed the metal knee. Okay, okay, okay. And, but, but the metal and knee I was started with U.S. Airways for oh. twelve years. And did so and you the was doctor with, put me. You was with them you you was with them before you got into trucking or after? No No, after I left CR England oh, and okay. came back home to Charlotte. Okay. I was gonna go with uh I was gonna go with another trucking company, but then US Airways had a job fair down here. So I said, I never did an airline. You know, let me just try it and see. Went to their job fair, took my resume. I got hired. And that was in 2005, April 2000, April 11, 2005. I got hired with U.S. Airways. Okay. I also got hired with another trucking company, but I didn't take that. I said, no, nah, my boys missing me. They young. Right. They used to me being home. Right. So... Try to, you know, add the airline to what you can do. So okay. I done it. Okay. And so you you I, you fell off. The, you you fell. What what you was doing that that made you fall? Was it a platform? Or? No. The uh, DOT bump in the back. It was all damaged, and that's when it we got that year. Mm -hmm. We got. Uh, uh, it was real cold and ice, right? And it was red tags, and you know, like anybody else, you know, you're in truck and they red tag a trailer, and you know, I'm like, oh, you can see it works, blah blah blah. You know, it's red tags for a reason. It need maintenance, out of service. 
That's what red tag means. So, you know, people wanted the big catering truck, not the little small one. Mm -hmm. Oh, the lift work. No, it's the stairs. When you climb up on there, it's all dented in. It needs to be repaired. So, if it was ice that day, ice on the stairs, and when I came to get down, that was ice there. Miss uh, feet slipped on the ice, and there it goes. That My awesome. knee hit that metal DOT. Yeah, Ouch. and I'm holding on to the. I'm holding on to the rail to dear life, trying not to fuck my whole in, in my whole body up and hit back on the ground hard. I'm holding on. As soon as my knee hit that DOT bumper, I heard it go. I was like, Ooh. "Oh, you you was in pain right there, man." Mm -hmm. Ouch! I'm I'm feeling that pain with you right now, and that happened years ago. Wow! So, uh, yeah. of, of course, uh, uh, surgery. Um, they reconstructed. Yeah, they reconstructed your knee and put the put the plate in the 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 kind of the kind of fits it. Um, were you able to? Uh, go ba go back, or was there any conference a uh, conference conversation? Um, what's what's that thing? Yeah, uh, what's what's that thing when you're out of work? What would you call that? Um, workman's comp. Workman's comp. Yeah, was was there any of that for yeah, you? Yeah, I I got I got all that, but the doctor put me out on a permanent work restriction, oh. which includes the job world. No wow. sitting for a long period of time, no kneeling, no bending, no standing for a long period of time. None of that. It was the whole job world. Jeez. And by me being young down here in North Carolina, uh, so scared. I mean, yeah, so scared of disability and, said, oh, no. I can still work. I'm like, if I sit, I got to keep my right leg elevated. Mm. So they denied me, and I still had my class A. And I said, I will always have a job as long as I hold them. Exactly. So I went back into trucking and went back into trucking, uh, worked all the way up. But I knew, you know, my knee started bothering me, the pain to come. Mm. And I'd be like, I right, I'll go train. You know what I'm saying? So I won't have to drive. All right. So hold you know, up. I, I, so, so, I, so back and forth with Warner. So so hold up right quick. Right quick. You, okay. Um, the SS, so you was denied um, the benefits, the Social Security and, and the disability and the SSI. Why was that? Because, I mean, you, you had doctor, you, you had the surgery, you had the doctor's uh, information. Why, why, why this? Why, why they didn't grant you the the, the disability? See, that's the before you answer. Huh. Before you answer that, because see, that would that would piss me off. Like I see people that gets SSI all the time, and wonder why it pissed me off the most because my mother was. Oh, how can I say? She she was on. Uh, she, it, it took her a long time to to get to di to get her disability. She had to go and she had to go and go to court. Had to get a lawyer, for real. Like the fuck. But yeah, I got a I got an attorney and everything to fight that. They still deny me. I said, Are you fucking kidding me? Like the doctor said. Permanent work restriction. Permanent. What part of the I don't know what permanent means. All right. So, so you say you had a lawyer and everything. <laughs> so the lawyer, even with the lawyer, he couldn't um, he couldn't get you uh, couldn't get you together. 
No, they can't. They can't say she can work. She can work. That ain't, that don't mean nothing. I'm like, really, really, people. Wow. So All this right. is we on, huh? So Team Warner, uh, you rocked out with them. Uh, all the way up until recently, uh, during that time. So during that time, uh, like I said before, in the beginning of the conversation, you was team Warner all the way. So, uh, so w- w- you said your, your knee, you mentioned the fact that your knee was, was bothering you and you decided to started training for the company so that it at least get you off your, you know, get you off your, off your knee a little bit. So what happened with all of that? Uh I um uh, I did and I I still kept ignoring the signs, ignoring, you know, just ignoring shit. Like I was working, 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 you know, keep afloat. Personal things, bills, everything, just working, working, man. Mm-hmm. I was out when I took a scare in a truck where I couldn't get up out the bed, I couldn't, couldn't call for help because it's just me in the truck. And I had to try to find a way to get up to try to stand up. I mean, I couldn't move. It was like I was in pain. It was my whole legs got numbed. I, I couldn't do anything. I was, and when I took that scare, that would put me on a like. If something happened to you or you get into an accident, it's your fault, and you die. They just gonna put somebody else in that seat and tell your family, "I'm sorry." You need to go take care of you. It's not that serious, so. That's when I uh, went to the doctor June 14th when I was home and they found out I had a pinched nerve on my spine. My knee's still in pain. I, I've been in pain for the, since I got this knee replacement. And I done what the doctor said. I lost weight, still losing weight, still in pain. So when he did the x-ray, found out I had a pinched nerve on my spine. I'm not going to let them touch my spine. That's just something I'm going to have to deal with until God ready for me. Right. But it's, it's affecting me because I get numbness. I get, you know, on my left side, I get a lot of stuff. And it probably got worse by doing by me driving the 18 wheelers, these raggedy roads the bouncing and all that. And then my back end, I'm sitting for 11 hours driving because I don't stop. Once I get up in the morning, I get everything I need and I'm gone. You know, I play Russian roulette with my clock. So I have me do my 10 hour rest break because since they changed that 30 minute break, you know, you do a yard move on duty, off duty, whatever. But normally I get to the consignee or the shipper on my first clock. So it's just like, I'm doing my 30 minute break in yard move. And do what I gotta do and I'm gone. And, you know, I run my clock to shit. But sometimes I run into it, I get one minute on that drive clock. Feel there's something in the air tonight. Got a feeling coming over me. I swear that this is that place to be. In the water, in the, the water, in the water. 